Luke Kevin. This has gotta be it. Uh, looks like the chief already beat us to it. Lance is in there? Yep. No surprise, though. I never met someone with a stronger sense of hearing. You think we should just wait for him to finish up? Nope. Fuck that. We don't have the time. Ah, detectives. Good. I was just about to send for you. Chief. Looky what we have here. Father of the year, every year. You must be Gregory Joukowsky. I am. And who the fuck are you? Right. Where are my manners? My apologies, sir. I assure you, my folks taught me better. Detective Liam Donahue, at your service. Mmm. These are the two detectives on your son's case. The other one here is Detective Washburn. Earl Cop. <laughs> Ain't you a pretty one? She's the one who convinced me to give more time to your son's seemingly open and shut case. You should thank her. <laughs> you looking out for my boy around here, huh? You could say that. How sweet. Someone should, at least. <laughs> this one's got more balls than you, Chief. I wasn't quite finished talking with Mr. Joukowsky, detectives. But, thankfully for you, I have other matters to attend to. You can have him in the meanwhile. We'll finish our little talk later, Mr. Joukowsky. Aww. But we was just about to start talking about all the good times we shared in the past together. We'll finish catching up later. Don't worry. You're in good hands until then. These two will treat you well. They have my full trust. Aye. You can count on us. Don't do anything rash, detective. Yeah. So... Can I see Mike? Oh, now you want to see him. <laughs> Couple of years and attempts too late, you prick. Donahue, please. Seriously? That somebody has my back in this shit he was- Shut your mouth. We're here for answers and nothing more. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to answer your questions if I'm supposed to keep my mouth shut, genius? Detective Donahue, would you please? Gladly. Ooh. Are you gonna rough me up a bit, detective? Real fucking a <laughs> Did you just fucking slap me? <laughs> the fuck kind of police officer slaps people? Ow! Shit! What that pussy shit is? You fucking stop! Smothered was made possible thanks to the generosity from Four Prop Photography. You've been doing a lot of staring at the walls of your home for the last six months. Maybe you'd like to imagine yourself in faraway places or some of your favorite local places that you haven't been able to get out to recently. Spruce up your walls with some fantastic aerial photography. 4Prop Photography specializes in drone photography of buildings and landscapes from all around the world. We also provide wonderful real estate photography services. Check us out at 4PropPhotography.com. That's the number 4, PropPhotography.com. Enough, Detective Donahue. I slap. Because I find throwing punches is a bit too effective. The bonus with this method is that shite humans like you find it utterly demoralizing. Now you sit there and answer Detective Washburn's questions like a good boy. Oh, fucking believe this shit, you it took God. a lot for me to stop him, you know. You deserve so much worse for what you've done. Yeah, whatever. That's all you have to say about that? Yeah? Whatever? Are you fucking serious? Look, I'm not stuck up my own ass enough to not recognize that my parenting wasn't the best, all right? Oh, trust me. We know. Your recorded sad attempt at a confession already told us that. Oh, my recording. Hmm. Yep, you know. The one you put on the same thumb drive and hoped to, oh, I don't know, because you thought it would help you atone for your actions or something? Not really. Are you playing dumb, Jakowski? No, nah, honestly. <laughs> I'm surprised the kid's alive. Oh, so you were hoping he would just die? 
Is that why you left him? Fuck no. I left because of Susan. Aw. What's wrong, Jakowski? Had enough of feeling the bat against your skin? That was one of many reasons, but he... Even though you provoked her by being aggressive and belligerent? Well, yeah. I mean, no. I mean... That wasn't always the case. Oh, you were only abusive and neglectful towards your family part-time. I see. Mm, That checks out. I guess. That's the point I'm trying to get at. My main reason for leaving was because I couldn't take Susie's constant explosions. She needed help. A lot of help. Be thankful we're here for Michael. Or else we'd be having a much longer chat. Oh, well. I guess we can save that until after we help your son out. I tried to help him, too. Aye. He mentioned that earlier. You see? I was looking out for him. He said so, too. Right. He also said you did a pretty shite job at it, too. Why didn't you call the authorities on Michael's mother? I... I was afraid of what might happen if Susie was pushed into that corner. The fuck you were. Huh? You knew that if you called the authorities, your ass would be getting thrown in jail, too. Well, good fucking job, Dad. Now you're in custody, Susan's dead, and Michael's facing the murder charges towards your deceased wife. Baby mama. What? Susan and I never married. Thank fucking God. That's completely besides my fucking point, Chakowski. My fucking point is... You're a ship captain who's going down with the goddamn ship and taking the whole crew with you. Except in this scenario, the crew is your fucking family. Congratulations. Mmm. Love how spicy you're getting with me right now. I'm gonna be sick. Quit getting off topic, Jakowski. We need you to talk a little bit more about the recording you made. Do you even remember making it in the first place? (sighs) Kinda. You mentioned a dress? but didn't stay on that subject very long. What did you mean by that? Suze would... (laughs) She would always have Mike dress up in her old childhood dresses. (laughs) Michael. What? Your son prefers Michael. Yeah, whatever. The point is that she was not emotionally fit to even take care of herself. Like you fucking were. (laughs) Not my point. She was even less equipped. Swear to God. Just tell us why she would have Michael wear her old dresses. Uh, I... Shit, I don't know. It wasn't one of those my boy's actually a girl type deals. Her childhood was apparently real fucked up. Maybe she just wanted to see how it felt like being on the receiving end. Who the fuck knows? Maybe it's all she knew. Why didn't you ever try to challenge Susan's desires to keep your son locked up 24-7? I fucking did! (laughs) Once every now and then, Susie would go someplace. I don't remember what a (laughs) graveyard at church. I'm all hazy on the details. But she was away, and I was just fired from one of my jobs while on sickly from the other. I tried to get him out to see the giant goddamn world around him. (laughs) But he just kept screaming and pushing away. Suze had completely warped that kid's mind to where he believed every dumbass, confusing thing that that woman would say. So did you eventually stop and let him go? Well, hmm, I was still pretty mad about losing my job. I'd also been swigging from a 40 for a while that evening. Don't tell me. This is a time where you smash the bottle over the lad's head. And then you use his own shirt to clean up all the blood. How? Do you know about that? Did I mention that in the recording? You did. Must be really proud of that memory. So I take it that means this was a time where it happened. Nope. It's not? Oh, no. I definitely hit him over the head with a 40. But this wasn't the time where I used the shirt to clean up the blood, I think. Yeah, no. 
This time I pass out after smashing it over his head. You're going to jail for a long time, Gregory Chakowsky. Enjoy the size of this room while you still can. Gowan.